Okay, we're back. So, uh, we're going to be starting with Thimbleweed Park tonight. Now, this is a game which uh, I've sort of had an eye on for a while, uh, but I've never actually gotten around to purchasing it or sort of getting enough interest to playing it. I've heard it was on sale on GOG for a while, for a little bit ago, so I uh, ended up purchasing it then. Uh, Thimbleweed Park is an adventure game made by Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick. People who have worked on uh, Secret of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion. And from what I've seen of screenshots, Thimbleweed Park takes a lot of inspirations graphically from Maniac Mansion. And uh, I'm quite a fan of Monkey Island and all that, so uh, and other LucasArts adventure games. Having done quite a few of them on my channel in the past. On the, in the past. So, I guess we'll... Uh, go through this and see what this uh, Thimbleweed Park is like. Uh, let me just capture this. Oh, it's already captured. How uh, nice. Which one is that capturing it on? Really? Dwarf Fortress? What? <laughs> Why is it? Hold on. Okay, I think that's about right. Sorry for this. I am uh, playing it in a window, so yeah. Why did it link the Dwarf Fortress window with this? Hold on. There we go. That is apparently odd. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> when did this come out? This came out in... Uh, a number of years ago. Uh, it was released on March 30th, 2017. So. And uh, just getting, ar getting around to it now. Uh, settings wise. There's a few settings which I actually had to look up. Um, that's all fine, I think. Sounds about all right for me. Maybe lower the music a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see what it's like in game. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, the video options. So I had to look up what the what these settings are. I know this. One of the characters in the game is uh, beeped for swearing a lot. But, uh, you know, I feel... <laughs> Getting rid of the beeping would kind of remove the whole point of the joke. Um, uh, this is exactly what it looks like. Toilet paper over. Apparently they shared a screenshot of the game during development and people were very upset that they had the toilet paper positioned under, as rightly they should, because uh, having the toilet paper over is the proper way to array your toilet paper in the uh, toilet. I won't hear anything else. Annoying in-jokes. Um, apparently this is like references to other games and so on. I guess you can tell by the name of it. Um, I don't really know. I wouldn't expect it to be... agrarious or get in the way of the gameplay. However, I think I'm going to keep it off. Um, eh, it's probably just like a few extra posters around here and that maybe. Uh, maybe I'll put it on. Why not? I don't know. I didn't actually see how whether it changed anything significantly or not. So I guess let's put it on. Um, new game. <clears throat> okay, yeah, then we get a choice. Casual mode. If you're new to adventure games, you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there is so much to do. Free tutorial included. Hard mode. If you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there is nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games. Once you choose a mode, you can't change it without starting a new game. You can play in casual mode, then play it again in hard mode and see additional puzzles. And we'll play in hard mode. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hotel Tron. Text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. Look at keycard. Okay, yeah, or highlight objects with a 
heading. This is extremely Day of the Tentacle. Um, I tell the graphics aren't as nice, but that's because I think they're solely pixel rather than the uh, scanned in artwork, which was done for Day of the Tentacle. Uh, which I think was done by an artist called Peter Chan. Did a very good job. Also for Monkey Island 2. And many other LucasArts adventure games too. Also some movies. Um, interact with characters and objects here. Yeah, click around. You have the verbs over there and the inventory there. Yep, give commands by selecting verbs. Items your characters picked up are here. Simple command, start with a verb and end with an object or character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use keycard indoor. Review or see advanced interaction tips. Select options, then help. Okay, fine. 1987. A year wholly unknown to me. <laughs> Interesting the grass there is actually like on a layer and it's moving. Part one, the meeting. I like the mixture though, it works well, especially with those fireflies. Halfway around the world, and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. <laughs> okay. They got all massive heads. Uh, I guess we're playing as this guy. Yep. You can just leave. Let's let's go. To meet someone. I cannot leave yet. You look at it. That is the highway into town from which I just came from. Okay. Uh, let's look at this note. Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the trestle trail bridge. Three, turn off the light above the trestle trail sign to know, so I know you have arrived. Four, meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you're not followed. <laughs> okay. It doesn't even say who it's from. That's very trusting. Look at wallet. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. Okay. There's a key card for hotel, hotel room 1008. It is the key card for my room. Okay, and prototype pillow bear. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out, and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Okay, can you use it? I am not tired now, nor do I need a hack from a bear. <laughs> okay, what about your wallet? It is not safe to open my wallet here. Why not? I, I don't know whether you can see this guy over here. What about this? No, can you use it with a bear? It only works on the room doors in the hotel. Can you put it in your wallet? It only works on the room doors in the hotel. Okay. Can you talk to your wallet? No. Can you talk to the bear? No. Can you pick it up? I'm already holding it. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, give the wallet to... I don't know. The bear? No. Okay. Move the gate. Oh, I just right-click and it does it. And how's the audio? I think it's fine. Uh, what's this guy? I said look, not talk, but okay. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? 
I have to go. I'm sorry. I could not offer you a drink. <laughs> I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Okay. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Come on. You gonna wake up or not? Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. No? Okay, fine. I have to go. Sleep well. Can we give you the pillow? Pillow bear. I am sure this man is not the one I'm meeting. So he does not get the prototype. Oh. Is that why you're here? Okay. Push him. I have to go. Sleep well. Can you give him your wallet? I am sure the poor fellow could use the money, but I am not here for philanthropic purposes. Yeah, okay. Can we have uh, subtitles? That would be nice. I have to stay here until I finish my... Yes, yes. Uh, text and speech. Display text. Your voice. English text. Deutsches te text. Text or es en español. Text en francois. <laughs> I mean, you can choose your language. Nice music. Okay. My mission's fine. Uh, I don't. Can we open him? No. I have to go. Sleep well. Okay, fine. Let's leave. Look outside. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. It's convenient right clicking to uh, use the item, uh, use the sign. I was actually going to say the game could use a little more volume. Okay. Um, let me just up it here because I'm probably hearing it a lot louder than you are. Is that a bit better? Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. How's that sound? I've upped it a bit in uh, my capture. Uh, good? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for mentioning that. Um, I was going to say, with right-clicking, it's nice that it did it, but I'll, it immediately removed what I was going to say because it is actually highlighting the verb it's going to default to when you right-click, so that's nice. There is a rock here. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Uh, pick up the rock. Oh, there's the light. Okay. The light is turned on. And I do not see a light switch. Can you unscrew it? I don't want to pick that up. I do not see a way to turn it off. It is too hot to touch. I guess so. Train lines. I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. Yeah, okay, fine. We got the rock. We have a rock. It is a rock. Use the rock. I do not want to damage the prototype. Okay, fine. Talk to the rock. No. Use the rock on the light. Now that there. works. I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Okay. Make sure you're not followed. Oh, he... If you hold down, he actually moves faster. Kind of. Uh, he's asleep. Oh, if you double click, also he moves faster. Okay. <laughs> Nothing bad is going to happen. I like the use of multiple layers here. Works quite well. I would say the pixel art is pretty good. I'm not going to say it's my favourite thing ever. Like, I feel some of it could be done, I don't know, a little bit nicer perhaps. 
I think it's just like how the shading is done on some parts and all that. Anyway. Wonk. Well. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night, or how much it would change us all. Part 2. The Body Boulder and Scully? So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. <laughs> okay. Look at Cole. to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. I think. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. I think that might be one of the things from the uh, references. The uh, pixelation. Probably it would be said a bit more seriously if I hadn't turned it on, but eh, I don't mind it really. Let's see, can we push it? Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. Okay. That's the coroner's job. Yeah, sure. Uh, can we talk to him? It's a bit beyond it. Oh, we don't even get the there option. There appears to. to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's actually changing the dialogue. I thought it would be a few references here and there. I'm, I'm actually kind of feeling that I should maybe put turn it off just so that it's um I don't know it's sort of going against I mean I don't expect this game to be deadpan serious the whole time through um hmm let me see how do I open up hmm Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to restart it and just, uh... Do that. Quit Arena. Yes, okay. Let me start it again. We're going to get a little bit... A bit extra, but we can speed through things. Oh! Micro. Hold on. I have to go into the settings, don't I? I thought perhaps it would be just... As I said, just... Uh, it would be a... A bit more like a few references here and there but if it's going to give silly dialogue i might just keep it off sorry for that but you know anyway yes 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 it's funny but um that's better for a second playthrough okay 1987 oh i can't actually skip it Okay. Well, whatever. We've seen the dialogue and all that. It's not going to take that long. And I'm not going to be trying to eat rocks and uh, talk to teddy bears. I'll be doing that later on, though. I like seeing where the games have uh, superfluous dialogue for stupid options. I like the King's Quest series. 
They have quite a lot of things like that in it. Where do you get these signs which update automatically? Like, Actually, that wouldn't work because the guy was apparently out of town, so he wouldn't be considered a, uh, you know, a, uh, a, uh, what's it called? A member of the populace of the, uh, area. At least I think that's how it works. The old hag, Agatha, yeah. <laughs> It was a requirement, I think, for everyone playing the King's Quest games to go around trying to kiss all the characters. <laughs> the dialogue you get for it is... I have to continue that sometime. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is yes, waiting yes. for me in my hotel room. It says to come yeah. to the bridge down by the river. It gets this it. looks what like I... the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Personally, I'm a... Uh prepared it for chicken schnitzels, but uh, I haven't had one in a long time. Uh, yep, sure. Pick up rock. Use rock on the light. Something else though there, we have in Australia itself. I have completed step three of the note. Now for step four. I guess I'll talk to this guy again. There was some different dialogue. Let's see whether he gets whether we get anything different. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Yeah, uh, I need some whiskey. Uh, sober up, sir. <laughs> sober up, sir. I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Okay. I have to go. Sleep well. Bye. And he was still talking when I left. That's nice. The, uh, dialogue animation doesn't cut out as soon as he, uh, moves. Bonk. Bonk. I feel like if they have the uh, fireflies around, I wonder whether they'll do, like, lighting from objects like that on the, uh, pixel. I've seen some games which do pixel light use that. Or quite a few. Maybe Hotlight Miami? Hmm. Unless they do it here. They might. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we're going to get Snark again. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. What? The body starting oh, that's just part of it? to pixelate. Oh, this well. is going to be a long night. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess that's part of it. <laughs> Wasting everyone's time. Uh, oh. Appears to be a male, approximately. I'm under control of you. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the okay. nose and neck. It's just part of it then. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Okay. Well, uh, don't I feel silly now? There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. Okay, fine. So... 
Okay, I was wrong. Maybe I could have left it on. I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's off now. I'm not going back to turn it back on. Uh, anyway. Um, I, I thought it did because I looked up about the references and someone mentioned that and I assumed wrongly as it turns out that the di some of the, that the dialogue had changed because of the setting. So, oh well. Anyway. His suit looks tailored. Possibly European in design. Appears to be a male. Approximately you gotta write it down again. Old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. There's no wallet in his pockets, but we found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Will you look at him? Oh, you can't actually. Why can't you look at him? Uh... Look at notebook. Yeah, okay. Oh, what's this? Got into town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrived at the body. It should do just fine as my cover. I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh great, some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. Hmm. Okay. The body. So she knew it would be here. Okay. Intrigue. What about you? This is going to be difficult to keep in, keep in uh, line of my head. All these people, we're going to be able to switch between them. The body is starting to appear. Arrived at in Thimbleweed Park from Albuquerque by bus. Headed out to look at the body. Apparently he did come from Albuquerque. Headed out to look at the body. This is perfect cover. Oh, they're both using the corpses. Uh, cover. Still walking along the highway. It's a long way from town. Arrived at the body. An Agent Ray is here, which is odd. No one should have been assigned to the case. I may have heard of her from rumours around the office. Might pose some problems for me. Remember the call mum tonight. Apparently he is telling the truth. At least by his own notes here. I, I doubt the notes are modified for our purpose. Body is starting to pixelate. Ray is going to get on my nerves. Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need to. And he's got the same... Okay. So... They're both here. They were both told this would be here from what I can gather. Um, and they're, but they're both using it as cover. Hmm, interesting. Detective badge. Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Okay. Polaroid camera. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. He came all this way out here without any film? It's a hotel key card from the dead man. Okay. Oh, you've got film. Okay. It's going to be a... This is how you exchange items for, between characters. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Their names are very similar. Angela Ray's, Antonio Ray's. They came up with the same cover names or something like that. <laughs> it's a cell phone? Yes, it is. I never saw one like... Was never saw one of those. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. It's, you wasted money on that then. I'll give that to him. Happy to help. Okay, use the Polaroid film and the Polaroid camera. Actually, hang on. There's a bottle here. Empty whiskey bottle. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. Okay. He doesn't have the rock on his inventory. Maybe he dumped it. The bulb's broken. Trestle trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. Okay. Did you write about finding the uh, bottle? No. Okay. Use bottle in... Uh, no thanks. 
Okay. Whatever. Use camera on the course. Smile. <laughs> there we now go. we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Dead ringer for the body. Oh. Ha ha. Let's go over here. Because we have knowledge about these things, which they wouldn't. Walk to something odd. <laughs> okay, look at something odd. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Oh, ha ha. But there's no gas or no fuel. <laughs> uh. I did turn the setting off, did I? Yeah, it's off. Whatever. Can I just... Turn that on whenever I want? I didn't have to restart. You safe. <laughs> Look at old tree. <laughs> Skaven! What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? Yeah, who'd have thought? That old tree is blocking the great entrance. Pick it up. I don't want to pick that up. Push it. I can't budge it. Pull it. I can't budge it. <laughs> well, you're going to be very low on money then. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. MIDI music, more importantly. <laughs> you know you're going to die if you hear MIDI music. <laughs> The last thing people hear is when they die is MIDI music, is it? How terrible. Well, it all depends on what the uh, sample stock is. You better hope that your life is updated to like a Roland SC-55 or an um, Adlib. You don't want to go out with general MIDI. That's just a terrible way to go. Hmm. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. I have the same deduction. Neither of them wrote that down. I, I guess. Nope. Okay. I, I was wondering whether you would have to look at it with both of them, or whether because they're both present, they would both know about that. Can you pick up the drag mark? I don't want to pick that up. Okay, fine. Look at chainsaw of expectation. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Yes. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. Yeah, well, you know. Use on old tree. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. <laughs> uh, I see where this is going. Or it could be a massive curveball and we actually find some for it. I can't open that. Uh, can we use... <laughs> uh, no thanks. Okay, fine. Um, there was a chainsaw in, um, Maniac Mansion, which you couldn't use because there was no fuel for it. Um, and I think in Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders, there was chainsaw fuel. But there was no chainsaw, so... It might even be the same sprite. Thank you for the speed up run. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Oh, you're writing it down. Origins so. unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object, which is odd because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. Fine, fine. Whatever. Um. I think that's about it that we need here. Let's go off. Guy's gone. I guess we would have figured that by the bottle being here. I guess he went over and ha saw the body? Let's go up here. Are you going to both follow? Do I have to move you both around? Hmm. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Yep, pick up. 
Never know when we're going to need it. focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Okay. A plan. Look at gate. It's a gate to the trail above. Okay. Let's go. Can I like link you together or something? Um, walk to more highway. You don't have a car? Looks like the road goes on forever. Oh well. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Oh, okay. What's that look like? There's a small stream down there. Another nice thing is that the uh, sprites are increasing and decreasing because... I'm guessing this is like built on a plane or something. Double click to run. Or. What? Oh, there goes a car. Or walk quickly. Circus flyer. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. I'm gonna have a see what you say about any of this. Uh, give. Sure, I'll carry your crap. Like I don't have enough to carry already. You better get what used to it. Ever. It's an empty can of Crockford yes, yes, tuna yes. heads. Whatever. It's an empty whiskey bottle. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Oh, you're saying the same thing. Definitely things. not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Kind of hoping they might say something a little bit different. Signals are very strong tonight. What? Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? <laughs> Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers if you're sisters? <laughs> Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. <laughs> signals are very strong tonight. Yeah, okay. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Yeah, okay. You almost over you almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. It'd still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. Thank you very much. But I'd watch out for the signals. Yes. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. The best way to do an adventure game, I feel. Or rather, I don't know. I just like it if you can't die. Um, and all that. Because it's just... It encourages exploration. Though I did get used to the uh, deaths in King's Quest. It's more just having to save frequently, which is something I wasn't used to. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Yeah, okay. But play, play, playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> uh, do we want to mention that? Doesn't seem like a good idea to mention it to people, but yeah well. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? 
Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Oh. Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Are you cooing? Very strong. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> Monkey combat. That's not death, so that's just a uh, kind of a brick wall of a mechanic. Though they had deaths in, um, I think they had deaths in, um, the uh, Indiana Jones games. I never played those, so, but I'm pretty sure you could die in them. I think you just reload to before the fight or something like that. <laughs> that seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. <laughs> but it really pays off in the end. I got to say, as much as I kind of agree with it, um, it does depend on what the style of the game it is. These Sierra Adventure games do work with deaths because you expect them um, after you've gotten into them a fair bit. This is coming from someone who, you know, is is like, you know, deaths in adventure games is not something you should do. It fits more with some, with some uh, LucasArts adventure games because they're primarily comedy and Death is not something you really expected. There's comedy in uh, Sierra Adventure games, but it's always more about the peril you're going into. Anyway. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, and too. And it fits. Squeak. Eek. Beep. Boop. <laughs> Great. Click, 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 click. Beep. Wah. I can't look at them. Beep. Whack. Click, 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 click. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. Squeak. Can we use it? It's locked. Beep. Okay, fine. Let's, let's go. This is getting annoying. Swimming in the obviously toxic water in King's Quest. Yeah, I mean, what was I going to say before my train of thought was terribly derailed by giant pigeons making weird noises um i don't know <laughs> danger in sierra adventure games is much more of a constant thing classic rings from a six pack you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them yeah, saves them wildlife yeah, it saves a little hedgehogs or it could does or whatever is around here. Actually, we're in America. It would be porcupines, wouldn't it? There's a cemetery. Am I going to have to herge both of you all over the place? Yeah, the van's just gone now. I, I just drove off, but... Okay. Can we talk to each other? We should go find the sheriff. Really? Okay. Well, I need to get back to solving this case. Okay. Ooh, Thimble. This is like Mulder and Scully. <laughs> I think that was the first thing I said upon seeing them. I have not watched any X-Files. It's not something... I think they have it on TV occasionally, but it's not something which has ever really garnered my attention. I should probably watch some of it sometime. There's a bottle. We're just going to pick it's up... an empty soda bottle. <laughs> I'm betting they're just putting all this stuff lying along the side of the road so people pick it up and then they're going to be like, why are you picking up all this rubbish? Because like, I don't know, because it's there and it's an adventure game and I'm playing as a kleptomaniac. It's like, right, okay. Hmm. Wait up, eager beaver. Oh, okay. Do they uh, join together again when uh, you enter a new area? Hmm. It Main says Street. Main Street. Yep. 
boarded up doorway. There's a decrepit looking it's house. Dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Okay. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Okay. Can't have too much business in a small town like this. Hit line flyer. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. Hmm, maybe we should call it. Uh, not right now. Hopefully I won't need to use that. Rent closed. We are playing this on hard. Oh, hello. Howdy, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. <laughs> That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> I can tell you're a sheriff by your accent. Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse, Arenos. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? <laughs> there is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Reno. Oh, wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. Okay. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. <laughs> Even for a murder? Especially for murder. Areno? That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Do you have guns? Gun Arenos? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> it looked different. It's a speck of dust. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> it's my speck of dust. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. The inscription says Pilotronics, the brain of our city. Oh, huh, okay. Uh, I guess that guy was actually from in town because he had one of those. Unless they make them here and he was from out of... from overseas or something. Uh, <laughs> this game's doing a good job so far of uh, making me laugh. And uh, catching me with... <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, people are going to be doing this. I think that speaks highly of the uh, developer's ability to anticipate what pe people who have played these games <laughs> going to be looking for specks of dust on the floor <laughs> uh and it's exactly a pixel can i give this to you here what am i going to do with a pile of dust correction it is a speck of dust not a pile it's my speck of dust well now it is okay there's a water fountain a good place to get a drink. They must have very clean pockets. Can you use it? Glove, 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 glove. Sip, 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 sip. Slope, glove, glove, slope. Gulp, sip, sip, slope, glove. Ah. <laughs> it's going to be taken out of context. If we keep doing this, will you explode? <sighs> Boy, that hit the spot. <laughs> okay. The sheriff's up there. The coroner is over here. Have they already got the corpse here? I mean, the body was under the bridge. We didn't bring it with us. Police Tron 3000. Uh, draws. It's closed. 
Oh, um, since we've got someone here, the DG, I, I, it, from, I, I guess you've either seen the playthrough of this or played it yourself before. Um, we had a bit of an issue <laughs> where I thought this was modifying the dialogue, annoying in jokes. Uh, is this anything major, or do, like, will it mess with things with the game, or is it just like a few extra posters and references here and there? It's not th anything, anything major. Uh, if you know that is. Probably have looked this up myself. Haven't seen any of it. You tried playing it, but didn't find the time yet. Okay, fair enough. Part of that. I'm on my own. Oh no. <laughs> I know nothing about this game either. It's something I was like, you know, hmm, maybe I'll get it at some point, but I never got around to getting it. Then it was on sale, so I was like, okay, fine. You've twisted my arm. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Okay. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? I think this is one of the references. Because that's the meteor from Maniac Mansion. If I turn it off... Yep, okay. The poster just flat out disappears. <laughs> okay, so it is just a toggleable thing like that. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I thought it was modifying dialogue to begin with, but it's not. The dialogue is just silly like that. So, what is this thing? It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. And a big radio. It's got like a vacuum tube on it's it too. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's 87. Well, they've still been using vacuum tubes then. I guess phasing them out at that point. It earlier before then. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Okay. Hmm, standard city issued desk, but with no drawers. Hmm. Arrest Tron 3000. Hello, welcome, welcome. You got it for free on the Epic Store. I bought this from Gold. So. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Would have buttons? I, I would have thought it would have had a dial, considering this is 87. We had those. Having to dial the numbers in on the front of the phone. <laughs> I kind of missed that. <laughs> it was a pain, painfully long way to go about doing things. Anyway. I don't think I miss it enough to go back to it. It looks like a big computer. Does it grow arms and arrest people? Can we use it? Looks too complex to use without knowing more about it. There's another it's big... It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Yeah, there's another one up there. What? I'm thinking of... It's the same... Naming scheme as things from, like, Fallout. You have, like, Assault Tron and the, um... Whatever else. The, uh, Securitrons. Uh, it's a free episode as well, you think? Dolores, the Thimbleweed Park mini adventure. That's a free one. Huh, okay. Maybe I'll have a look at it after I finish this. Just a bunch of files. Oh, we just opened it. There's no problem. It's turned off. Can you turn it on? We don't have it. I guess use. We interrupt our hostile takeover non stop music with this important message Chuck Edmund is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Okay. We heard a chuck from that guy who was drunk at the beginning. Where'd the sheriff go? He came up here. Come on, I want to go in there and close the door. Actually, we've got I two people. Stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. This will accomplish absolutely nothing, but because I can do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Now what are you going to do? It's closed. Yes, it is. It's already closed. Oh, you can open it from the inside. I guess because we don't have keys. So. <laughs> Get both of you some. We should split up. Yes, we'll cover more ground that way. Push the desk. I can't push that. 
Can we use this? Breaker one nine, breaker, breaker. Blow, blow, blow. Daisy, Daisy. Breaker one nine, breaker, breaker. Isn't it one niner? Anyway. Is this thing on? Daisy, Daisy. <laughs> give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy. And we're going to get the whole song. All for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. <laughs> Attention, all units. See the man <laughs> by the dirt road, out by the old circus, out by the old factory, near the diner, by the dirt road with a broken down car. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. And we won't have to come back to that at some point, will we? Can you do that as well? You seem a lot more straight laced than he is. Breaker one nine. Breaker, breaker. Oh, I guess you do. Again, I kind of wish they'd have different dialogue for things. Yeah. Anyway. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. Okay. Let's let's leave. I don't know where that sheriff went. He merged with the wallpaper or something. Let's go. Oh, you're both here. Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park coroner. Oh, there you are. Welcome to the future who. Oh, that's how you're differentiating who you are, is it? Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Okay, the Blood Tron 3000. Aren't you the Sheriff of Reno? Aren't you the Sheriff of Reno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Okay. Uh, it'll probably turn out that they are actually two completely separate people. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. <laughs> this is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Okay. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron oh. 3000. Yep, oh, he slipped up. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. So they are actually the same person. <laughs> oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arino? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Okay. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Computers, the latest thing. They're using them to solve everything. Never think again. <clears throat> you just have to wait like a week for the results. This would be... Yeah, this would just be on like the advent of uh, home computers, I think. They would be using punch cards at this point. Just feet in the foreground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw those. Oh, those big toenails are... Ugh. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Yeah, okay. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? 
Whoa, now. Pillotronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. So wait, what did that make these computers like 20 years old? Unless they've got a factory somewhere else. Uh. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. Yes, okay, how futuristic. <laughs> I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. This is what happens when I don't play a game as soon as it comes out. <laughs> Computers are timeless. Uh. Well, we don't actually have anything with blood on it or fingerprints on it or faces on it. Actually, no, we've got the uh, circus flyer. Chewy Caramel Center. Oh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. <laughs> okay. It's empty. And the skeleton. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. Yeah. Ha ha. It's probably a real skeleton then. This looks like Maniac Mansion B Sex Files. It seems to be pretty much from the beginning. Um, so far, it's made by a. Uh, oh, what was it? Ron Gilbert and uh, I forget the second person's name. People who worked on uh, LucasArts Adventure Games and. Uh, Uh, Maniac Mansion, so uh, Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick so, It's very much an homage to those types of games Specifically the graphics are based off of Maniac Mansion. What was the big hit? So, let's go back upstairs I haven't played Maniac Mansion or Zack McCracken. I should do so. Hello. Hello again, Agent Arenos Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Arena computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Arena. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Okay. You're also the coroner, right? Oh my no! <laughs> no 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 no, Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Areno's in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Okay. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the uh, restaurant. Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Hmm. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. 
Okay. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Okay. Insert three reports from the Bloodtron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Facetron 3000 into the Arresttron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. Okay, fine. Snag a donut. Can we get one? Nope. They're below the uh, verb bar. I can't get one, sadly. They're not jam filled either, so. Uh. Oh, we've got more notes. <clears throat> uh, read that. Read that. The corridor and sheriff are idiots. That's okay. I can work with idiots. They're easy to manipulate. The Tron machines are interesting. I'm glad Reese was a little eager beaver and took notes. I wonder if they are connected to the reason I'm here. Ray's to-do list. Find a murder weapon. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Get Fingertron report. Find ID for the victim in hotel. Get Facetron report. Take a bloody swab from the body. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get Bloodtron report. Put three reports in a restaurant. Okay. And what have you written down? Uh, the corridor seems nice enough. He should be helpful in solving this, this case as quickly as possible. The computing power of the Tron machines is impressive. I wonder why we've never heard of them before, and if they could help in figuring out what happened during the old pillow factory fire. It'll turn out that just people inside of them or something. Bloodtron. Insert a swab of blood from the dead body and something found on the suspect with blood on it. Facetron. Insert a photo on the body along with an office, uh, official government photo for a positive ID of the victim. Fingertron. Insert a fingerprint taken from the murder weapon and the official fingerprint book to find a match. And uh, the same things. Okay. We've got to find a murder weapon. We've got to find a face. The ID which will be in the room as we heard at the beginning. And uh, we've got to uh, find a, a finger. Oh, what was it? Fingerprint, blood, and uh, face. Um. Yeah. Can we talk about anything? Guess we don't really need to. There really is a home office in Albuquerque. Sure, there is. There is something odd about this town. There is something deeper going on here. It's an honor to work with you, Agent Ray. Sit back and watch. Maybe you'll learn something. Well, okay. I need to get back to solving this case. Let's go. <laughs> Let's run and slam face first into, a do into the door. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. Nope, there's the Pigeon Brothers again. And the Pigeons. Oh, they're, they're doing some plumbing. How about that? <laughs> Hydrantron 3000. Big Pigeon, bigger Pigeon. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Yeah, it is kind of slight. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Okay. <laughs> That's stopping me from going that way, well, isn't it? I can't it? get past that water. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's a vacuum tube on top of it again. It's a pretty big vacuum tube, but it's not glowing. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Can I pick it up? Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Okay. It's a deadly weapon. What's I say? Smart buy electronics. 
Okay. It's dead, Jim. <laughs> Available for rape. Closed. Forever. Sorry. <laughs> it says, after 34 years of serving the tri Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. Hmm. Okay. Safety first savings. A bank, I guess. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. We have a new, no new note. Pigeons need a WC67 tube. Okay. Might be nice if this was separated a little bit from this, because this is all kind of like one big task thing. And that's like something separate. Anyway. It's nice that it writes it all down, though. Fancy Nancy flowers. Closed. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. That is a heck of a diner. I like the... It's the S&D diner. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's an alley. What's down here? Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Huh. Can we pick out the poster? I don't want to pick that up. No? Okay. There's a rubbish bin. <laughs> no! My speck of dust! Hang on, I wasn't carrying a speck of dust. Well. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Down to one life. Oh, it actually has updated her note as well. Uh, oh, there's a dime. It's a dime. Yes, it is. Ten cents. Uh. <laughs> Corner of Main and B Streets. Okay. Let's go in here. Hello. I'm dead one party member. Can I pick up another one somewhere? An old cash register. Is it old? I don't think they'd like that. We open it? I don't think they'd like that. No? Okay. Yeah. Uh, talk to Sandy. How do we know she's called Sandy? Hot dogs, burgers, salad, pie, schweinschaxa. That's about it. Okay. Maybe she's got a name tag. Actually, she does, so... Hot dogs. Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. Hmm. Take the sheriff it counts as two. <laughs> Welcome to the S and D diner. Do we have a max on the party? That limit? article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So what can I do for you, honey? Uh I guess the dead body's been there for a day, I think, from since we since it occurred, so I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Okay. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. Maybe it's not makeup. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. 
He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Okay. Well, now we're playing as this guy. Ransom the bleeping clowns to bleeping do list. Put on my clown nose. Get my bleeping joke book back. Get my clown fro looking bleeping great. Apply my bleeping awesome clown makeup. Go on stage and insult the bleep out of those idiots. Yes, my life is amazing and bleep beep you for being jealous. Oh, it's beeping, not bleeping. Oh well. <laughs> Your fridge is cl empty, sir. Empty, but clean. Fridge assistant hasn't replenished my supply. No time for a cold one anyway. Yeah, okay. Then the microwave. Nothing inside. I only use it for popcorn anyway. The crap they sell here will keep you in the bathroom forever. Okay. When did you get what sick of- What the hell is this? The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the top right word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. <laughs> okay. So that's your password for something. It's my lawyer's business card. Okay. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. Okay. Are you related to a certain person from uh, the Great Ball of Twine? It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 trademark at 4468. Who needs a hint? Not us. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. You got like a waffle eye in there or something? Trophies. Clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. Well done. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. <laughs> okay. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. <laughs> Why is it lumpy? Oh, yeah, okay. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Uh, can we put the uh, poster back? There we go. How do you put a safe in the wall of a carriage? How thick is the wall? <laughs> I mean, this is in like an alcove here. Uh, but there's a window right there. Very cozy. My maid changed. It's a prototype Ow. ransom. But very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. Okay. This nose is perfectly modeled after my own. It's just too big for the doll's face. Can you use the bed? No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. Okay, well, pick up the clown nose. And put on your real nose. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Except now, it's missing its nose. He's happy where he is, aren't you, little Ransom? It's an IOU. Ransom oh, yeah. Clown lost a... It's a prototype oh. Ransom... My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special Ransom Clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, Clown. Okay. Where's your makeup? Uh... This cloud is your favorite. <laughs> it's pretty... Pretty entertaining. Okay, let's leave. Ransom. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. 
I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. <laughs> I should have been a dentist. You. <laughs> okay. I guess that was your lawyer. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Okay. Oh, your shoes squeak. Okay. Anything up here? Nope. Anything over there? No. This way? Backstage entrance. Hello. Well, f you. What a f easy job. Just stand and wave. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Yeah, okay. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Hello. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. <laughs> I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark. You are putting the squeeze on me. Not my problem. Okay. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the ten kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. <laughs> you, I'm out of here. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. How much are these ducks worth? Yeah, must have destroyed a lot yeah, of them. Shoot the pussycat. Okay, nothing else here. Yeah, shoot the pussycat. Uh, oh yes, what was the, uh, noise? Hmm. The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the top right word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Okay. So, six. Nine. Two? How many kids did he say he had? Grand prize if you can shoot... You got my money, Ransom the ass white clown. How many kids do you say you have? I have ten kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay. F you, I'm out of here. Six nine ten. Or six nine one zero. Oh. My circus poster featuring the amazing that doesn't seem to work. Well, pick it up. Here you go. It's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. <laughs> Six. Okay, now. Nine. And finally. Uh, ten. Top. Ah, there we go. Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. Can you reset safes? Yeah, whatever. Probably. 
It's exactly a thousand dollars in unmarked bills. Okay. Uh, use the poster on it again. <laughs> there we go. Let's go get our joke book. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now, where's my joke book? Ah, uh, wait, did you messing with me? That's only a thousand dollars and you owe me eleven hundred and thirty-eight, including the interest. Yeah, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full eleven hundred and thirty-eight bucks. Now, beggar off. Is it going to increase by the time we come Try back? Your skill. Oh, we did actually give it to him. Okay. Uh, push the popcorn stand. Hey, it's not my job to push popcorn stands around. I don't know. Against maybe... clown union rules. <laughs> maybe they have money in it. Open it. Nothing's inside. I've checked. Okay. Move along. Move along. Well, I suppose they wouldn't keep money inside of it. And a penguin. Uh, not a penguin. One of the uh, one of the pigeons. That tentacle. <laughs> nope. Ah, pardon me. It's my ransom the clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. How my convenient. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. Okay. I'll just take the big bucks. It's my empty ransom the clown swear jar. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. Uh huh. This. Speaking of pirates, that's uh. That looks suspiciously like, um, Guybrush Threepwood's coat from Monkey Island 2. The reference to Monkey Island 1. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. Pick it up. I don't wear f hats. Fuck your goddamn makeup. Okay. This goof keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Yeah. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. This goof keeps my clown fro erect. Yes, yes. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Now there's the face I love. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's go give this money to him then. I mean, he must be a big deal to have his, like, portrait Shoot on the front the of the, uh, front of the big top and everything. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now, where's my joke book? Here, yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now, scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. <laughs> Shoot the funny. Okay. It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Is there anything else? Can we push him? <laughs> Ransom, you idiot. Why did you push me? Oh. Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I can't get up. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Ransom, you jerk. I can't get up. Ransom, you jerk. I can't get up. Ransom, you're a total. 
I think my stilts are broken. I think my stilts are broken. Handsome, you jerk. No, no, boy. No, wait, shut up. Damn it, I've just made things worse. I don't see money in the jar. Uh. Oh. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. Okay, let's go to Sage. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. <laughs> See how many people you can recognize in the audience. Probably the developers there. Eyebrush. <laughs> uh. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You guys have a concert violinist playing in the street for ambience. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. Even your roaches turn their noses up at food on the floor now like, we can do better. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that god's definitely punishing you for something hey you ugly old lady with the hairy mole or is it your parasitic twin whatever it is i hope you bought a separate ticket because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself it's not freeloading in my audience you will be forever sorry for what you've just said I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever. I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. The You up the you come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. <laughs> the toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beef yourself. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yes, I feel it just wouldn't be as funny if he was uncensored. I ransom the clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Amazing that you can recall all the parts which even you weren't present for. So, uh, quite a storyteller. Or maybe you were present for them. Maybe you're hiding in the wings or something. It's turned off. Use it. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Wake up, people! The government is stealing your right to free will. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Okay. Go talk to Ransom the Clown. Okay. Actually, I guess that was a few years ago. Because he said 97, 90, uh, 77, 78, didn't he? So he's been there for like 10 years? Or nine years. Something like that. Oop, the speck of dust. <laughs> it's my specks of dust. Yeah, we've got two now. Hmm. I haven't seen Reyes for a while. Wonder what happened to him. Uh. I think he had a meeting. The no <laughs> with a club or something. Uh. Find race. Not that I want to. <laughs> okay. Does it actually do lighting? Oh yeah, it does. So it does actually do what I was talking about. It's nice. You can see you get more light underneath here. I wonder whether that's an overlay or it's applying it to the um, model itself. Hmm. Anyway. You had a good nap? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Okay. Another speck of dust. <laughs> hey, a skeleton. An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Huh. Hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. Oh, don't leave it hanging. It's made of plastic. No murder here. No. Okay, fine. Looks like this valve has been welded into position forever. I can't turn it. Okay. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. Uh, pick up the speck of dust. <laughs> it's my speck of dust. <laughs> Gonna the collect only all thing of them. I'd get from poking around these boxes. I don't want to pick that up. No. Okay. How are we going for time? Okay. Well, I think we'll save it there and we'll continue with this next time. As much as I want to keep going. I am having a lot of fun with this. This is very enjoyable. I like how it's been subverting my expectations. That's, uh, well done. <laughs> the characters are interesting too. Ugh. I'm surprised I haven't seen a playthrough of it so far. Not that I've actually gone looking for one, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. None of the people I usually watch have done a playthrough of this. Hmm. Anyway. As I said, we'll continue with this next time and try to figure out the murder and everything else that seems to be going on. It's going to be hard to, like, separate the serious, separate what's important for just the wacky stuff and all that, but I'm sure we'll th sort things out in, in the end, um, anyway. And yes, this is quite enjoyable. Quitterino? Yes, Arena. There we go. Okay. And I'll thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you join me again next time where we continue with Thimbleweed Park.